Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Today, what does every aspiring tennis player or tennis player or pro or high school, college, tournament player want? A sponsorship. Yeah. Stay tuned. All right, so coffee sponsor of the day. I actually want to thank my Buy Me a Coffee supporters who actually contribute on a monthly basis on the membership side. So I'm going to actually show you my morning ritual of getting my coffee. So let's go on a field trip to Pete's. The two big cheeses are at the barista bar. <laughs> My favorite iced gingerbread and gingerbread cookie. All right, so back with the goodies. As you saw my morning ritual over there, obviously the people over at Pete's are like family to me now. You met my barista, Lena. She's the best. And then the person in charge of the whole thing is named Shane. He was in that beanie today. Man, he runs a tight ship and it's awesome over there. Caleb took my order today. Uh, the, the, whole, uh, the whole crew is just so, so awesome. And it's all made possible. This is all made possible by my supporters. So I wanna especially thank my Buy Me A Coffee members, Diane, Nick A, Patrick, Chase, and Lawrence Luck. Thank you so much for hooking me up on a monthly basis. We're going to be actually sending something special out to you guys. So look for an email from us. All right. Here's to you guys. If you want to be my coffee sponsor of the day or be a member of my Buy me a coffee channel. Network is buymeacoffee.com forward slash tennis spin. Thank you all so, so much. All right, as I always do every morning. Mm. I love that ginger part with that frosting. I usually just eat that and then leave the rest for my kid. <laughs> okay, <laughs> let me just put this away while I start talking about sponsorships. Who doesn't want to talk about sponsorships? Who doesn't want a sponsorship? Um, so here's the thing while I grab my coffee here. Um, everybody, every kid, every teenager, even adults, teaching pros, anybody who plays, they would like a sponsorship and they would like it from one of the major companies, Babolat, Wilson, Head, Technofiber, Yonex, you know, any of those guys, Dunlop. But how do you get one? Do you deserve one? Obviously, everybody wants free stuff. But how do you get it and do you deserve it? Well, I'm going to explain it to you. I'm going to be on the court with Coach Kevin, and we're going to explain the process of how he and I used to get sponsored. It's two different ways. All right? Stay tuned. All right. So... Coach Kev is here with me today. Top ranked junior back in the late 80s, 90s, probably. 
90s, mid 90s. Mid 90s, okay. So you're definitely younger than me. And uh, so I feel like sponsorships have changed uh, back in that time till now. Obviously there's technology now and you can look kids up and see how good they really are. Um, back then there were probably lists though, right? That, that you just pop up. Now you could just look at a list and say, oh, Kevin Chu, number 10 in the nation. That boy's gonna get something for free, ain't he? Yeah, so I wasn't <laughs> that high in the nation. <laughs> I appreciate the, <laughs> the vote of confidence, but um, yeah, I was, as a junior from between 92 and probably like 96, 97, anywhere from 16 to 64 in the country. Okay, okay. Um, yeah, and as you said, yeah, rankings were published in just the USTA NorCal annual report or whatever it may be and then nationally yeah uh similarly right yeah so let's talk about the different types of sponsorship obviously you were good enough to get the free package right f-r-e-e -E, where they send you stuff and you don't have to pay right true yes so you were good enough for that um but there are different packages in which if you're not quite there, you're at the cusp of being there, that they give you like a discount package. Okay. Right? It's like, it's like a couple hundred bucks, you know, like you pay kind of their cost and mm -hmm. then you kind of wear their stuff, use their rackets until you become good enough to get the free package. Yeah. And I also feel like there is a tier above myself oh there is probably even a bigger free package okay so and so i'm just guessing okay. i am not sure what other players received mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, or you know yeah what the tiers were what was made available to others but um yeah i'm assuming there was an upper tier of like super elite junior players that got even more free stuff so what was in your package so my package every year, I got two free rackets, two free pairs of shoes, strings, socks, and then one-off things such as this. Oh yeah, he's gonna show us some suits. of the swag. Yeah, and a bag, or, or yeah, two bags every season, a duffel and a racket bag. So he, so coach, coach Kev sported this whenever he went out to a tournament. It says Wilson USA <laughs> team. Let's turn, the, turn around and show them what the back looks like. Uh-oh, look at that, right? International tennis team. We got the flag over here, right? This is from back in the day. This, this is, is, yeah, this is from back in 94, I would say. Yep. And I was 14, so this did not fit me back then as much as I wanted to rock this <laughs> everywhere. And, you know, just... It still doesn't fit you now, man. Yeah, I know, it's still big. They just, yeah, clearly just sent it, whatever they had. Everybody got an extra large back then. <laughs> um, but yeah, I still own it. Yeah, I still have it. That's cool, dude. That's, that's cool. So everybody got a couple of rackets, some shoes, a bag and some string and some socks. Um, and most importantly, stencils. Stencil and ink. Sten and ink, yes. Um, yeah, you had to stencil all your rackets. It had to be very clear what rackets you were using. I mean, that was probably the strategy of these programs. Oh like, yeah. You know, top players get noticed, people see what they're using, maybe we'll want to use the same yep. gear, so yeah. So rock, you gotta rock the brand is what it is. <laughs> yes. You know what I'm saying? Put that W on that Wilson racket. Yeah. Uh, and even though it looks like you could have bought it from Walmart with the W on it on a $20 racket, but you gotta put the W on it to represent. Yeah. Exactly. So. Coach Kev, let's fast forward to modern day. You know, we got internet now. We can easily type in Kevin Chu, and he is now ranked number 51 in the nation, right? Um, what does Kevin Chu get today now? I don't know. You tell me. Kevin Chu gets the same thing. 
<laughs> he gets probably, well, if you're 51 in the nation, uh, I think you get the same package. Um, I think if you fall over a certain threshold, then you go into that paid packages. Okay. But when, you know, let's say you got your two rackets, but you need more, w what happens? So if I needed more than two rackets, I would call up the sales rep or my contact and order uh, additional rackets at cost. Okay. You can order as many as you want? As many as I want. Really? Yeah. You can order 10, 20, 30? I'm assuming so. I never had the need to order that many, but yeah. yeah hook up your friends. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure that would have just killed me from the program. Like, yeah, I would no longer have gotten sponsored by any brands if I was attempting to resell. So I, I think one thing has changed aside from the internet and knowing exactly where you stand with like UTR and um, world points and USTA rankings is that, um, you know, with all that combined, they actually know how good of a player you are. And you didn't really have to do anything. I feel like when you're high enough ranked, they find you. Yes. Like, even to today, they find you. If you're good enough to rock the thing, they will call you. They will email you. They will find you versus everybody out there who don't play very good calling them up and saying, hey, can I get free stuff? Yeah. So first of all, do you deserve the free stuff? And then the other thing that has changed is Wilson now has a dedicated person for sponsorships. No longer do you bother the rep who doesn't want that phone call from like a thousand juniors you know, in the local area. There's a person assigned to deal with your letters, um, oh, excuse me, emails, <laughs> hundreds of emails, thousands of emails, uh, phone calls. You know, you ever wonder why the mailbox is full? Yeah, ask your fellow parents, ask your fellow kids, because you're blowing up the phone, you're blowing up the answering machine, and you're blowing up the email, okay? Actually, that brings <laughs> up a really good point. So previously, when I'm sure my parents were in touch with a sales rep, they were regional. So it was the NorCal sales rep. Right. There were only, at most, a handful of juniors my age who got free stuff or who were sponsored. So it wasn't, <laughs> yeah, it wasn't <laughs> phone ringing off the hook with kids looking for stuff or asking to order stuff or whatever. Yeah, it was... It was a small group, um, but yeah, I understand. Yeah, it no, but scaled. you guys deserved it, though. Is what <laughs> I'm saying. But, I mean, there's just a bunch of kids just calling them up, saying, "Hey, I'm number one at my club, <laughs> you know, and I'm I'm a three O, you know." And yeah. so you're saying handful. I mean, how many is in my hand? Five. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's yeah, like... I I apologize for sales rep who have to field <laughs> calls from juniors who are just the best at their local club looking for free stuff that's yeah you definitely need to prove yourself more right than that. exactly so if you're a good junior i mean by all means you know if you got a utr you got rankings you play tournaments um please you know if you if you're good enough go ahead and do it email them if you're really good they will contact you okay but other than that I mean, I understand you just want free stuff, okay? Now, you got some stuff to show me? Some more stuff to show me? I got a lot of stuff to show okay, you. Okay, let's see what Kev's got in the bag. You can get this for free, this Nike bag? No, my coach gave it to me for oh, free. Oh, got it. Yeah. Right. Um, well, look at this bag. Yep, yeah, so this is... Yeah, the only free bag I received that I still own, that I still have, and somewhat use. Um, and as you can see, I'm slightly obsessed with rackets. This probably comprises maybe 20% of all the <laughs> rackets I have in Did my you get garage. all these for free? No. <laughs> I did not get all these for free. Of these, 
maybe those Wilsons. Th yeah, three or four for free. Those. Yeah, um, I don't know about that Prince, but no, not this Prince, but a lot of thrift store finds. Okay. Let, let's stick to the topic. Oh, as sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, um, but yeah, no, probably just three or four of these for free. Got it, got it. But that bag, check out the bag. Yeah. You can run away from home in this bag and go on tour, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, it, it was it was pretty cool to see, you know, similar bags for sale to the general public, but not branded. Like National that? Hammer team. No, no, yeah, no, not like this. That. So, yeah, it definitely made... Made me feel pretty special at the time. Yeah. Can, okay, so you've played with me um, now before, and obviously I'm not as good as you, but believe it or not, I was sponsored. Yeah, I was nowhere near ranking. I didn't play tournaments. I got, I did nothing. I mean, I just played and maybe played what, half a year, a year at JC, uh, and but I got sponsored, right? I'm going to tell you what I got sponsored with, okay? I got 12 rackets a year. I got 12 pairs of shoes a year. I got boxes and boxes of Reebok clothes. I got pumps for free. Ooh. And this was when I was 19, 20, 21. Like every year, they just sent me a boatload of clothes I don't need. I donated most of it to Goodwill because it was so ugly. Um, but, but why would a guy like me who don't play very well get sponsored kev you are looking at the number two sales person for dunlop back in the early 90s so i sold a crap load of rackets for a company and guess what they do for people who sell a crap load of rackets for people they give you free stuff so for those of you who want free stuff and don't play as good as Coach Kev, right, you can go work somewhere and represent a company within a pro shop, a store, or a club as long as you sell the stuff, promote the stuff, and, you know, genuinely like the stuff, you yourself can possibly get a sponsorship. Didn't know that, did ya? Mm-hmm. Everybody wants to play like a three-five and want to get free stuff. Mm-hmm. Sell the stuff. <laughs> Are you surprised? About I'm that? not surprised. <laughs> no, I'm not surprised that you were their second best salesperson. But I am a little surprised that you just gave it away to Goodwill. You I didn't mean, see what it looked like. <laughs> I can imagine. <laughs> I was around. I know what it looked like. Uh, I mean, Reebok Chang rocked it. I wore that shirt. They okay. gave me that polo. They gave me one. And and I kept that one polo. The rest of the stuff was like cringeworthy, man. The I, pumps, though? I, I wore that. I wore that. The okay. other 10 pairs, I'm like, eh, I don't know, man. I ain't, you know, <laughs> it wasn't very good. If and, they gave me 12 pairs of pumps, that yeah. would have been different. Right. Okay. And when did this end? When did this Reebok deal end? Let's see. When I left the store and graduated college, 97, okay. 8, 9. Okay. So there. well before Roddick was rocking pumps. Oh, yeah. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. those pumps are the best pumps. The Roddick pumps? Yeah. Really? I love I didn't those. even know Roddick wore pumps. He did. Wow, that's cool. So, guys, whether you play well, like Coach Kev, and earn your playing sponsorship, or rocking it out in the pro shop or store, right? You can get sponsored. Okay? Trade secret. All right? Just do well in either playing or selling, and you yourself can have a sponsorship. All right. Coach Kev, thank you, my brother. All right. Thank you. I'm glad you got sponsored. <laughs> <laughs> How do you get a sponsor today, like this very moment? So I spoke to a bunch of people who didn't want to be on camera uh, from each of the companies, 
and they were saying, it's a little different now. Um, yes, we do take the top players and we seek them out to sponsor them. So for those of you who play well, are at the top of your age group, top of your class, uh, you pretty much don't have to worry too much. They will find you at the tournaments like Orange Bowl, Easter Bowl, um, Winter Nationals, uh, tournaments that are big. There is a presence there that is seeking the top ranked players. If you're like a top five, top 10 of where you live in your state, you probably don't have to do much except for just maybe apply online is what they told me. So seek out the company you would like or the two companies you'd like, apply online. They will easily, they, they basically told me if, if and when you do apply, they actually can just quickly look you up. So they check out your UTR, they check out your UST, so USTA, your world ranking and see what number you are. See if you come up, see if you're a blue chipper, right? So those are easy. They can research you. But every company told me about the intangible though. And that intangible is if you are a great player and you are in need of equipment that you kind of need some help with. So they want to help those people, those players that pretty much, you know, can't afford the stuff, you know, so they'll make a call when you apply to your coach, maybe a teacher, teaching pro in the area, anybody that would possibly know that person and see what the need is. I mean, sometimes the coaches, or the parent or the teacher or anybody that's you know helping out the child or the the person will make a call into you know their local store their local rep um, even to the company uh, that takes care of the sponsorships and put in a word and that actually helps out in the process of you know, the companies do want to give back to the people who are really in need. Okay. So I re repeat in need and want to support the people who play well, but are, you know, maybe a little on the underprivileged side. So, and, and every company's told me that they want to support the people who actually need it. Okay. Now on the adult side, I mean, if you're a teaching pro, obviously, if you have influence over people, you're, you know, you're collaborating um, or partnering with a storefront like this one, um, probably easier for you to get a sponsorship that way. If you're a high level player as an adult, like a five, five and up, and you play a bunch of tournaments that are regional, national, um, you play for like, like a NorCal team, like where we are and you constantly win and you, you know, you're like number one in your age and, and, uh, level, then you can probably get a sponsorship too. Um, same way, just apply online to each individual company. There is usually a link on, uh, each of the company's sites for uh, sponsorships, okay? So, and if you work at a retail store and you have influence over people and you, I mean, obviously you know what you like and you know what you play with. Let's say I liked Dunlop back in the day, right? I would just approach Dunlop. It's like, hey, I play with your rackets. I love your rackets. Is there any way I can you know, kind of get a sponsorship and therefore I can, you know, I can push and sell what I love myself because you're going to sell what you love, right? And might as well get rewarded by the company for it and they'll be glad to reward you for that.
All right. So there are many ways to get sponsorships. Just ask and apply online. All right. Guys, thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Guys, are you tired of playing against the ball machine? The ball machine always wins, and you're not really getting any interaction with people. How about playing with somebody at your level, or maybe a little bit better than you, that can improve your game? There's 27,000 people nationwide waiting for you to play with. It's all at playyourcourt.com. You can find your new tennis friend, join local leagues, all for less than $5 a month. You'll have access to players at your level, your speed, and make some new tennis friends. Check it out at playyourcourt.com forward slash tennis spin. Link is below.